Imagine feeling like you've got the flu, your heart is racing, and you can't sleep. All because you stopped taking a common medication. Well, that's what gabapentin withdrawal can feel like. And for many people, it comes as a complete surprise. You see, gabapentin withdrawal isn't just uncomfortable, it can be downright intense. The symptoms can range from anxiety and trouble sleeping to an irregular heartbeat and the flu-like discomfort I just mentioned. And the problem is, most people taking gabapentin don't even realize this can happen. So in this video, we're going to break it all down. What these symptoms are, why they happen, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself if you're taking gabapentin or thinking about stopping it. But before we get into the details, let's start with the basics. Gabapentin is a widely prescribed medication commonly used to manage nerve pain, seizures, and sometimes even off-label conditions like anxiety. It's known for being effective and is generally well tolerated. But here's the catch. If you stop taking it abruptly, it can trigger withdrawal symptoms and often catch people off guard. That's why understanding these symptoms and how to stop gabapentin the right way is so important. The key to avoiding these symptoms is not complicated. It's all about gradually tapering your dose instead of stopping cold turkey. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Number one, flu-like symptoms. When you stop taking gabapentin, it's pretty common to feel sluggish and experience symptoms like headaches, muscle aches, chills, nausea, and fatigue. It can almost feel like you're coming down with a bad cold or flu, even though you're not actually sick. So why does this happen? Well, gabapentin works by calming overactive nerve activity in your central nervous system. That's why it's often prescribed for things like nerve pain and seizures. But when you stop taking it, your body needs time to adjust to functioning without that extra help. During this transition, your nervous system can go into overdrive, and those flu-like symptoms are just your body's way of rebalancing itself. Think of it like this. Your body has been relying on gabapentin to help regulate certain processes, and now that it's gone, your system feels off balance as your body figures out how to regulate itself again. It's true that these symptoms can feel intense at the moment, but the good news is that they are only temporary. And for most people, they are usually at their worst in the first few days after stopping gabapentin. By the end of the first week, or sometimes within two weeks, they start to fade as your body rebalances itself to life without gabapentin. Now, in the meantime, taking care of yourself is key. Rest as much as you can, do some gentle stretch exercises to keep your body moving, and make sure you stay hydrated. Water and electrolyte-rich drinks like coconut water are great options to help you feel better. Number two, brain zaps. That's right, brain zaps are one of the strangest and honestly, most uncomfortable symptoms of gabapentin withdrawal. And they're not just limited to gabapentin. People coming off antidepressants like SSRIs have reported something very similar. And trust me, they're not fun. So what exactly are brain zaps? Well, imagine this. Quick, sudden jolts that feel like tiny electric shocks in your brain, or sometimes even throughout your body. Gabapentin changes how your nerves send signals to your brain and body, essentially calming down overactive neurons. But when you take it away too fast, it's like pulling the plug on a stabilizer. Those neurons start misfiring, and that's when you get those electric shock-like sensations we call brain zaps. While they're not harmful, they can definitely be uncomfortable and distracting. So what can you do about them? Well, the best way to reduce the chances of brain zaps, or at least make them less intense, is to taper off gabapentin slowly. And I mean slowly. Work with your doctor to create a gradual reduction plan. This gives your nervous system more time to adjust and reduces the intensity or frequency of the brain zaps. It's not just about stopping medication, it's about giving your body and brain the time they need to reset. Number three, itchy skin or crawling skin. Intense itchiness or feeling like something was crawling under your skin is another symptom of gabapentin withdrawal. It can feel anywhere from mildly irritating to deeply uncomfortable, often described as a creepy crawly feeling, like tiny ants or bugs marching around your skin. This isn't just annoying, it can be incredibly distracting, making it hard for you to concentrate relax, or even get a good night's sleep. But here's the thing. This is not caused by an actual skin problem. It's a result of how your nervous system is reacting internally after stopping taking gabapentin, especially if you have been on it for a long time. So how can you manage this if it happens to you? 
Well, fortunately, while this sensation can be uncomfortable, there are simple remedies that can help you regain some comfort. For instance, topical anti-itch creams or lotions, like those with hydrocortisone, menthol, aloe vera, or calamine, can soothe your skin and provide some relief. You can also use over-the-counter antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine, to help reduce the itching sensation. Number 4. Mood Swings Gabapentin withdrawal can often bring about mood swings and emotional instability, which can feel like a roller coaster. As your brain struggles to find its balance, the emotional ride can feel like a descent into chaos before it begins to settle. One moment, you may feel completely calm, and the next, you could find yourself irritable, anxious, or even on the verge of tears. These emotional shifts can feel intense, especially if you're not someone who typically deals with frequent mood changes. Plus, you may notice anxiety and irritability creeping in, leaving you restless or on edge. Sadness and frustration can also surface without warning, adding to the challenge of the experience. You see, this happens because gabapentin interacts with neurotransmitters like GABA, which play a big role in calming your nervous system and stabilizing your mood. So when you stop taking this medication abruptly, your brain temporarily loses this calming effect as it readjusts to functioning without gabapentin. This can create what we call a rebound effect, where the absence of gabapentin makes emotions feel amplified or harder to control. Essentially, your brain is working to regain its natural balance, and this adjustment period can lead to heightened emotional responses. Number 5. Insomnia or Sleep Disturbance Insomnia or difficulty staying asleep is another common issue during gabapentin withdrawal. It often comes with tossing and turning, waking up frequently through the night, and trouble falling asleep, even when you're completely exhausted. On top of that, many people often complain of vivid dreams, night sweats, or just the inability to fall or stay asleep. You see, when you stop gabapentin cold turkey, it can throw off your brain's chemistry and disrupt your natural sleep cycles, making it harder to relax and fall asleep. This imbalance can lead to difficulty winding down at night, fragmented sleep, or waking up too early. And here is another problem. Withdrawal may also intensify other withdrawal symptoms like mood swings, anxiety, and irritability, which further interfere with your sleep. Now the best way to prevent these sleep struggles is by slowly reducing the dose instead of stopping suddenly. It's also important to prioritize good sleep hygiene. For example, stick to a regular sleep schedule, even on weekends. Avoid screens and blue light an hour before bed, as they can interfere with your ability to wind down. And create a calming bedtime routine such as reading to help signal your body that it's time to sleep. Now just before we wrap up, I want to leave you with one final and very important point to keep in mind. Gabapentin withdrawal symptoms can go beyond what we've covered today. In addition to those mentioned, you may also experience irregular heartbeat, unusual dreams, muscle twitching, and be more sensitive to light and sound. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is power, and you have the power to make informed choices for your health. Thank you for watching.